Today, Apple announced the new iPad OS 13 for the iPad. This is the first time the iPad operating system has separated itself from iOS. So I was super excited to download this and I'm just so excited to test this out. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really quick walkthrough of what it's all about. And in future videos, I'm gonna show you more in depth what iOS 13 can do. I just downloaded this um, a couple of hours ago, so this is still fresh for me as well. So when you open up the iPad for the first time after installing the update, the first thing you'll notice is that the apps are much smaller. And on the side, you'll notice in the new um, sidebar, which is really cool. The sidebar you can actually swipe down to get rid of. And you have this really nice today view still. You have all of your apps, that's all the same, but this part is really cool on the side. You can um, slide over here and you can actually even choose which ones you want at the top. So it's pretty amazing. Um, it's really refreshing to see the iPad get a lot of attention today. So that was really cool. Um, some of the big features that were announced today was dark mode. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Right now I have it set on so that it turns dark um, after sunset, but let's go ahead and turn it now on now. This is dark mode. As you can see, everything looks really sleek. It's also pretty fast for beta one. There are slight stutters, but it's not bad for beta one. I think this is really cool. So let's go ahead and open up Safari. So one of the cool things about this is that you're able to open up the same app multiple times. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari. And now we have two apps two Safari apps open at the same time. This is gonna make productivity pretty amazing because if you can imagine, you could do this with Microsoft Word and have two Microsoft Words open at the same time. Uh, before it was just having two different, two different apps open at the same time, but now you can have the same app open at the same time. So now let's go ahead and remove this app, make it smaller and let's actually remove it completely. So now we have only one Safari screen open. Let's, let's go ahead and add news here. So as you can see, news works fluidly. So now we have the news app here. Let's say we wanna switch that to another app. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide to the left. And now I see the new reminders app, which is really nice in dark mode. If I slide up on that, I see all the apps that I have on the side. Right now I only have these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to this one. And it's so fluid, just like the iPhone 10 animation. So I want this one, I wanna make it bigger, drag it to the side. Say I wanna make the Safari smaller, there we go. And now you also see Safari here. So I'm gonna drag that to the side, drag up. So there's a lot of fun animations for dragging. Also using Apple Pencil, if you slide it to the left corner, you can automatically create a screenshot and mark it up accordingly. So that is also really cool. Let's delete that for now. So that was a very brief look at into iPad OS 13. For iPad, this is the first time the iPad OS has been separated from, I from iOS, and there's a lot of different cool features with this. Um, right now, I only showed you very few, so stay tuned for further videos this week where I'm gonna be showing you in-depth features as well. If you haven't already subscribed, then please go ahead and subscribe down below and make sure you look out for my next videos.